Hi, Sagittarius, Capricorn cusps. How are you guys? Um, I'm doing a reading. I had to retape it. I'm having a really hard time. It like disappears. I don't know off of my off of what I'm taping. But anyway, so I'm reta I'm redoing this one. Um, I am this. I my birth my December my birthday is December nineteenth. So, <coughs> excuse me. Let's see what we get. Please hit like and subscribe if you'd like a chance to win a free reading or a hypnosis. I have another. It's going to be coming up here November soon, so I'm going to be uh, choosing somebody. I choose once once a month. Um, let's see what we get. A good sun card. That's nice. Okay. Um, what I'm seeing is you need to be walking and being careful. Um, I feel like there's opportunities coming your way. Okay. As far as business, as far as jobs. Um, and they look good. They look real good. I, you know, Jupiter's in our sign, guys. Uh, that means that you can do no wrong. And things are just gonna like manifest themselves. So I it does look to me that there is a good money situation or opportunity that's gonna present itself in this during this month. Um I want to say some of you guys are going to have the energy to start looking for something better or ha wanting something better because you do. You, you deserve better than some of this garbage that people have been giving you lately, okay? Um, <clears throat> you know, things have been good. I mean, it it's not like it has been horrible, but yet you kind of want more, okay? Um, you're putting down your firm foundations hoping that things are going to start happening. Now, be careful because, you know, I feel like some people may try to rip you off or, or be careful who you are dealing with, okay? Um, yeah. This is not you doing this. This is someone trying to, I want to say almost like a con a little bit or, you know, just be careful and watch your back a little, okay? You know, you have news coming. There's news definitely coming. You know, hold. I want to say some of you guys, there might be some money um, coming to you. And you need to hold tight to it. Balance it out. Um, be careful how you spend it. Plan things out a little better. All right? Um, and you've got a situation that's repeating itself that's come back before. I want to say this could be a person. This could be a an opportunity that was missed originally that came back your way. Well, this time you need to bite on it, okay? Because I really think that it could be a big thing for you, all right? Um, I feel like there's some people out there that need to, are going to come into a little bit of money and they need to be doing things like getting tires. They need to be doing things like that with the money. Do not spend it. Be careful with your money. Watch it. Just watch your money um, to make sure all the necessities are covered for you. Okay. Um, I feel like there's some people out there that I know who's exactly what I'm talking about because I'm getting it like tires quite a bit. And I, I know that I need new ones cause I, from what I see, I live up near Chicago. So, um, know that the, it's coming to winter. So, okay. Um, let's see what else we get again. I would like a Please clarify the situation, this opportunity. Yeah, the opportunities that are coming for Sag isn't cup. Okay, it's Sag Cappy Cups. Okay, I thought that was. Thought I saw some. Yeah. Well, there's choices that need to be made, okay? Um, I want to say that. There is a person that wants your attention, that need that wants to come back in, that's going to try to come back into your life, okay? Um, they've caused you a lot of pain and a suffering and a heartache in the past. And 
For some people, I want to, for other people, I want to say that there's some people going through a divorce or a separation. Okay. But this, I want to say for some people, like I said, I want to say some people, this is a, the lover's card is a person trying to come back in that you may not want in because you're going to be reminded of all the, the heartache and pain that they gave you. And this may be an attorney, but this may be you saying, I'm done now. I can't do this anymore. Okay. Um, and by doing that status quo, by just saying, you know what? I'm just dissatisfied. I'm just, just dissatisfied. You're going to get, you're going to make yourself happy again. Okay. Now I want to say that there's somebody coming in to give you a little help and you, I, Sages and Sages Capricorns, they have the huge hearts because they give the shirt off their back, um, to help somebody. And I want to say that you may be helping somebody, but I see finally that you might, somebody might be helping you for the first time ever, ever you might, might feel. Okay. Um, <clears throat> this current situation is a choice needs to be made. Okay. Um, for if you're leaving and you're walking away from a marriage or you're letting somebody back in your life, make your choice. Because when you really think about it, the lover's card isn't just lovers. It's making a choice between two things or even three. I want to say some people are in a love triangle. Okay. Um, there's so much dissatisfaction and it has been in the past and, it, and you're trying to be happy. And it's, you know, it just seems like these people keep coming around or a situation that you've been in for a long time is just this, so toxic and negative. You just don't know, you know, I need a, I need a change. I need a change. I need a change, you know. Um, and that could be in your job. That could be in your home. That could be in your marriage. But you do need a change. And with Jupiter in our sign, they're helping you. Now, just remember, Mercury is in retrograde. So if you do make changes, you do, you know, be careful of electronics. Be careful of any paperwork you may sign. Me personally, I will wait till the end of November if I were to sign anything. Um, hold on to your money while this is all happening also, okay? Um, be And just wait and just, you know, don't do anything sp uh, spur of the moment right now for the next few weeks, okay? Let's see what else. We're going to give you a love, more on love, please. More on love. 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 Yep, you got somebody coming back in that they're gonna try. It's all in your it's all in your hands. Just remember that. See, I yeah. Um I just feel like this person's like there's some issues, okay? I wanna say, okay, at least this King of Cups and this devil card are together, and I you're in the problem the process right now of transformation. Okay, you are transforming. Um and this person who is a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, is coming back, trying to come back into your life. He's prepared with an offer. He's prepared with what he's going to be doing. But he's got issues. I want to say there's some serious um, alcohol um, addictions of some type. I'm not quite sure what it, what it all is. But I do know that there's something... If you let this person come back into your life, see the chains, <laughs> see the chains. Okay. I, I just want you to be careful and to maybe keep them gone because as you transform yourself and re, you know, retransform, lift yourself out of the ashes of the, as a Phoenix does, you're going to see this person for what they really are and you don't really need them back. And you have other things to do. You have other plans, other you know, there's so much yet to do. There's so much plan, you know, and you've worked really hard so far. You've worked hard for what you do have, you know, um, and, and just remember you are the magician you're manifesting and creating all this. And so this person coming back has been, you have created, um, through thought, through energy, you know, exchanges. Okay. And I just, he's just, I don't like that card. I, <clears throat> You know, you're cutting free. You're trying to cut free of him 
by, you know, making your plans and doing your transformation. So just be careful of what you are thinking and doing and how you are putting your energy out there. Okay. Um, I'm going to read a, I felt like I need to mean read Moonology today. Sometimes I read animal oracles, but I'm going to read some Moonology cards. I like these cards. They're kind of cool. Um, all right. Some thoughts for the day, which go along with the other cards that I'm laying also. See, prosperity lies ahead. Okay, what are you dreaming of? You know, be the, take off your mask. You know, um, I want to say some of you guys have an opportunity and it's possibly business or it could be a new job also, but you know, you're going to win. You will win. There's finally balance coming to your life. You will win. It's okay. Okay. Prosperity, true prosperity is when you are happy going to work. When you enjoy your job, the money will come if you love what you do. And that's true prosperity. Okay. Have faith in your dreams. What's your dreams? Do you want to be doing what you're doing? I kind of feel like most people aren't. So something, something about someone about a doctor. I'm not sure somebody, that's a message for somebody. Something about a doctor, somebody, um, Going in, maybe into medicine or going out of medicine. Um, I yeah, okay. I just thought I would mention that. Show the world real, real you, which means take off your mask. Quit playing a role that people are telling you to play by going to work to a nine to five job. Maybe you don't want to do a nine to five job, and you're like you're stuck. You don't know what to do. Now is the time to take the leap of faith with Jupiter in our sign, and we can't do anything wrong for the next year. Okay. Expect the foul, powerful change. It's coming. It's coming. You know, don't let any negative people pull you down. Okay. See, look at, look at, I just read this. Up. It's time to release, release negativity. <laughs> That's funny. I just said that. Okay. So I just want you guys to be thinking about it. What will make you happy? What would make you happy? You know, life's short. So. With that, I'm going to let you go. This is Land of the Comedian Medium, and um, I want you to hit like and subscribe to me. Um, I am offering readings. Um, don't know what else to tell you. If this doesn't resonate for you, and you may not be a cusp, or you may be just Scorpio, or I mean Scorpio, excuse me, Sagittarius and Capricorn, and you can go to another reader because there are a couple of really, quite a few of really good readers on here. So namaste blessings.